Hello. Come on in. <laughs> Welcome to a Bellway home here at the Spinney development in Shrewsbury. And we are taking a look around this gorgeous home. We don't have the floor plans. It's not a show home, it's a view home. Yes, so they put furniture in uh, just to give an example of, of, of the house type. So we find ourselves in quite a nice spacious hallway mm. with a big door. Now this one, I like the others from Bellway on the spinny, two-tone. Two-tone. Uh, and you've actually got some really nice privacy glass panels either side. You've got the diamond detail, security peephole, death box, security chain, and the twisty latch. Yeah. Right, what do you think about this hall? It's nice and open and, and very yeah, airy. It is. And this is a big mat. Yeah, it's huge. Floor. So you can wipe your feet. And if you turn around and look this way from what I can see... Ooh, we've got a nice sweeping really staircase. Nice. Yes. So that's really nice. Now, there's a cupboard straight away. And actually, if you've watched our other uh, Bellway Spinny houses, you notice that this door is different. So in the other homes, they've got the upgraded oak. I think this must be the standard, standard. door. And it's still nice, it's to be lovely. fair. And actually, if you don't like oak, <laughs> yeah. if you don't like the wood effect, and you just want something that's nice and light and bright, this is actually mm, perfectly It's bright. lovely. And you've still got the nice handles. You do. Those are actually really nice. Okay. Here we go. Downstairs, Lou. Yeah. Okay, so we've just got the rocker sink and a toilet, and we've got the half tiling on the back yeah. towards the toilet, and then you've got space to put one of those fantastic mirrors if you can get your hands yeah. on one. You could put a mirror on there as well, so that is lovely. The flooring's nice as well. Yeah, it's nice. Is it Antico? Um, possibly. Possibly Antico. Is there a... No, you... we're not entirely sure. No. Let me have a feel, actually. Um, that feels like tiles to me, mm. possibly. Okay. Carpet in the hallway in this particular option, but you could have hard flooring if you wanted. There's a radiator, and the switches are uh, kind of just standard, standard yeah. white. Let's go in here. Ooh, kitchen. okay. Ooh. Oh, wow. This, this is, is nice. lovely. This is gorgeous. Look at that kitchen. Yes, this is lovely. Um, so, if you take a look, actually, this is a bay. It is a bay. This is a nice big bay window. It's a, it's a beautiful bay it's window. A bay, it's a bay door. Bay door with, and then you can actually see here as well, okay. how the garden comes. Because yeah. when we see a show home, normally it's all fully landscaped. Yeah. But this is how it arrives. Actually, so it's this fully is turfed. It's really nice to see yeah. exactly how it comes. So you've got the fence, which is actually a really nice fence. Yeah. It's um, the turf looks actually really lush. It does look very, very lush. I know, I know some people on. Um, New home Instagram accounts complain about their grass being brown. Yeah. Not here. <laughs> Not here. Oh, no. Not this here. Is beautiful. That's, that's nice, lush grass. You, so you've got an example of what... Um, the patio you patio get. Is, so, so it's, it's only a small patio area, but you do get a path as well yeah. that looks like it goes out to the gate and that is to your the garage. garage. So there's a little bit of space for behind the garage as well. That's actually a nice garden. It is. I'd be inclined to put a path up the side of the garage as well, and yeah. then behind the garage is where I'd put the bins. Yeah, I think once you've planted and done whatever you wanted, this would be a nice garden. Yeah. So, um, I like this bay. Yeah, I like the curtains. Yeah. As well, because they, they, you can block out the bay entirely if you yeah. wanted to make it really nice and snug. Or you could have blinds, whatever. There's a window over there. Uh, nice radiator behind the desk. And there is um, a nice peninsula kitchen mm. with some... Barstools. Mm, big barstools, actually. Yeah, so, in fact, actually, if you didn't really eat at the table, you could get rid of that entirely, just have barstools. And maybe have a sofa bar. here. You could have a, yeah, a living room area. That would be quite nice, I think. Yeah. Uh, there's lots of space here as well. Yeah, that's a massive console table. Yeah. Or a sideboard. Or even a TV unit. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I think this, um, this house type is very flexible, mm. so far from what I've seen. So, let's come round and look at this peninsula. Ooh, let's have a rummage. Yeah. So, you've got bar stores on the other side. Yeah. You've got cupboards. I like the grey interior. That's quite nice. Cupboards there. And I think this is the standard kitchen. Design. Yeah, it's not that Korean worktop that we've no. seen in the other show homes. It, it's that's a standard top and it's lovely. Nice. Yeah. It's, it, to be honest, it's nice to see standard things. Yes. A lot of the times, developers put... Put their best in, don't they? Yeah. The top of the range. And it's nice to see what you get a standard. Yeah. So this is a Zanussi. Lovely. And, and an under sink. Yeah. Uh, so it's stainless steel, sink and a half with draining board. Uh, you've got the matching up, splash, up splashes. And actually, oh, that's interesting. So you've got a tiled... 
Powered windowsill. Powered windowsill. But that's good though, because obviously you're right next to the sink, it's going to splash yeah. out. So, you know, you wouldn't want a wooden one there because that would no. start to rot. That's and... very practical. Yeah, we've got a lovely corner cupboard that goes all the way down. Uh, you've got cupboards above. That, ooh, already got plates and yeah. bowls. Handy. Shows an example of how you can fill up your cupboards. Uh, so, do you see gas top? Yeah. With the kind of um, glass backsplash. Zanussi, all matching Zanussi appliances so far with the cooker hood. We've got the drawers. Now, I like these detailed handles. Mm. Totally. Um, another cupboard. Plenty of cupboards, to be fair. Wow. Lots of cupboards. Um, Zanussi grill? oven grill. Oh, that's a combi. Mm. And then fan. And then fan a, assisted. A, and a grill. Oh, and a grill. Oh, wow, <laughs> double oven. Double. Um, Oh, a nice baking pan. I'd put my baking things up. Yeah. On and this must be... Fridge. Um, what freezer. Oh, Ooh, and don't forget... Oh, the cupboard above. Top cupboard. Ooh. Yeah. Ta-da. Baking trays. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Maybe baking trays. So if you just stand here and look back into the space... It's a lovely space. People can get a real sense of what we were talking about. You could really change this. Now, obviously, this is a view home, so... It's almost like random furniture. Yeah. So don't be too hung up on the interiors. This is not a show home. Um, so just imagine your furnishings in this space. And a really top tip that I can think of is if you can't imagine your furnishings in a space that's already got furnishings, just look at the ceiling. Because uh, it's exactly the same floor space. So just imagine where your things would go on the ceiling. Oh, this is a nice utility. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's a proper, like, pet mm. utility room. Yeah, so you've got a door. You do. With the window, which leads onto your driveway. You've got a boiler. You could put a cupboard around that. Yeah. And um, you've got... Cupboard. Cupboard. And a cupboard. Cupboard. And space for a washer-dryer. Yeah. But there is also space. To, you could actually take one of those cupboards out and have a separate... Separate washer washer and dryer, dryer if you wanted to. And a very useful sink. Yes. I think I call this a dirty sink. Yes, it's where, it's where you <laughs> wash your muddy boots yeah, and this over is, a hike. Yeah, and this is where you do all yes. the... Like we hike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course we hike. Of course we do. Of course we do. Of course we do. Uh, oh, what's there a cupboard behind the table or not? Did I see something? Oh, yes. I did. Oh, I did see something. Hidden cupboard. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's a proper under the stairs yeah, cupboard. and you've got your um, fuse box and other bits and Yeah, the space to hang your brooms and hoovers. Yeah, and... Obviously under the stairs, but yeah, you could have your vacuum mop, bucket, and yeah. board. Or if you whatever. wanted to keep that cupboard, you could have your washing machine there anytime you're driving. You could, actually, you could if you had... Um... Yes, you could. Absolutely. Yeah. Lovely. Lovely, right. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, have we done the living room? No, we haven't. We haven't. We haven't. Okay, wow. This is wow, this is huge. This is big. So you've got twin lights. Um, you've got lots of windows. Three, oh, yeah. three, three windows. Three big windows. Double aspect. Yeah, so you've got space for a wing chair in the corner, and then you could easily get a very, very big corner sofa in here. Huge, because, yeah. So all you'd do, because there's a radiator here, you'd have this sofa a little bit proud of the radiator, and you could have a huge corner sofa. Yeah. Plenty of space for a big TV there. Yeah. I love these big footstool Ottoman table things. I love yes, them. Yes, they're lovely. They're not nice. I mean, you could even have the TV on that wall. You could. Uh, depending on how, how you want to do it. Um, but yes, there is plenty of space in here. And just look at the space behind you. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's a whole corner here. <laughs> yeah, so plenty. if you've got kids, they could have a little play corner if you want to. Or pets. Yeah, or you can have your, your, your um, cat climbing towers if you've got cats. You could. One thing I have noticed well about these doors is normally the when you open a, a door, they don't normally go much further than 90 degrees. So normally most doors probably aren't going about this far when you open it, but this yeah. door actually goes all the way back to the wall. Yes. And I just know there is also a telephone uh, point as well. So if you do still have a landline, Bellway's got you covered. Um, yeah, this is a really nice... And the ceiling heights are quite tall Yeah, it's well. huge. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I do think I would probably go for hard flooring in the hallway. Yeah. Probably one thing that I would change. But um, it's lovely. And I quite like the example of the banister all in one colour as well. Which is white. Uh, I mean, it is very nice and bright, isn't it? Oh, it is. It's really bright. And this landing is quite big. 
Yeah, right, where are we going? Left or right? Let's just go in here. here. Oh, <laughs> cupboard. Cupboard. <laughs> Boiler. Boiler tank, mm. there we go. And a bit of space in front where you could put something if you really yeah. wanted to. Uh, there's a window in the hall as well. There is. It's very yeah. bright. Okay, and here we have uh, a double bedroom. It's a very big bedroom. Yeah. But I think that's partly because it doesn't have any fitted wardrobes in here. No. Um, but there is space. There is plenty of space for it. Space. Or, if, if this is the smallest room, you could turn it into a wardrobe, it could be a working from home space. It could be a playroom. Playroom, whatever. Hobby, hobby room. Uh, yes, it's, it's nice. Nice size. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. So we have, I think, might be another cupboard. Ooh, over the stairs, half cupboard. No, but that's also really handy. That could be basically be your airing cupboard. Yes, and I've also seen examples in some people's houses on Instagram where they've turned this into a wardrobe and they just put ah. a nail in. So you could have out-of-season coats. Yeah, hide them away. Whatever, suitcases. You could, if you didn't yeah. want to go in the loft, which is actually above you, you could put your suitcases, whatever. You could. Let's go in the bathroom. So I can see this is the bathroom. So you've got a window, um, vent above, Shower over bath. I think it's all still rocker sanitary wear with yeah. the uh, toilet with the button flush. And if you come in, I close the door. There's a heated towel rail and space for laundry basket. Whatever. Yes. Yeah. It's a nice serviceable bathroom. Lots of um, lights above as well. Okay. This is the second bedroom that we've come into. Yes. I would say this one's smaller than. Than the last one we the looked at. The last one we beat in. So this is probably bedroom... Bedroom three? At least three, I would imagine. Yeah. Um, but it's still big enough to get a double bed in. I mean, these are a big bedside table. They are, they're huge. Yeah. So you could have smaller bedside tables. This is a really nice room. In fact, this room could probably be the wardrobe. Yes, or the playroom, um, or, or the study, yeah. whatever you want it to yeah. be. Um, and also, double aspect windows. A lot of these rooms, a lot of these rooms have got double aspect. Yeah, there's a lot of light being let into yeah. a lot of the rooms. Okay, mm -hmm. right, Lovely. let's go find okay. Okay, no let's memory. Go, let's go across to the landing. So I think this is a four bedroom home because I've just seen. Ah. Oh wow, look at this. Oh, this is a proper kiddie so room. Safari, so this is the smallest room. Mostly. Yeah. There's a sloth in the wardrobe. Is that? Ah, look at that. That is adorable. Hello. How adorable is that? Um, I just hold that for a second, just so you can get a sense of uh, what I can see. So they've got this kind of, it's a car bed. It's literally a safari truck. Uh, that is gorgeous. Just look, oh, I don't like snakes. Nothing long, thin and wiggly. Don't like it. Um, but no, look at that sloth, he's gorgeous. So yes, this is the smallest bedroom. So again, change your mind. This could be the office. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you choose how you want to have your yeah, space. It's your home. You do whatever you want with but it. But this is a perfect anything room. It is. And oh. you could easily get a single bed in here. Bo would love this bed. Yeah. We've got cats and they would love to crawl in there. Molly, I think, would love to crawl in there. Yeah. Uh, but this car bed's so cute. It is. And it's gorgeous. Got, I've, I've got to just stroke the slot. <laughs> oh, his face. Oh. He's just happily chilling out. He is. In his Bellway home. <laughs> right, and finally the master. It must be. <laughs> must be. Must Ooh, be. Ooh, wow. Oh, this okay. is nice. Yeah, so. Yeah. I come round this way. Yeah, because you've got like um, a, a little alcove here that you could put a fitted wardrobe. You could. Um, I imagine that is an extra in yeah. Bellway. Uh, but you could just put your own freestanding in. Big bed. You could have bigger. You, you could. could. Very easily. I don't think this is a super king, but it is a full length bed. And yeah, you could have super king in here. And if we go through, there is bathroom. Ooh, en suite. En suite bathroom. Now, it's compact. It it's is. It's got a uh, rocker, uh, wall hung uh, sink, um, an inbuilt flush toilet, radiator. Now, you, I think I'd have that changed to a towel rail. Yeah. Um, uh, the towel rails are the upgrade, so um, I just think it's more practical to have a towel rail. Yeah. Uh, but if you come in and I shut the door, you can see there is a really nice big shower. Um, yeah, lovely. And the tiles are nice as well. Yeah, stipple. Like a textured stipple. And the door has a really nice glide to it. There is a vent above, plenty of spotlights, window. Um, and this is quite a low level shower tray as well, which is 
makes it look really sleek and nice. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lovely. So. Right, now it's our job to go and pick our favourite room in this house. Yeah, to do our outro. Right, where where's it going to be? Okay, so we have chosen the kitchen. We have. Kitchen dining with the big, nice bay, uh, bay yeah. window. I think this is a really fantastic room. This whole house is very flexible. It is. You can pretty much change any room to be whatever you want it to be. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, yeah, this is our favourite room because I think we like the fact that it shows an example of the kitchen standard. Yes. Uh, this view home, that's not a show home, really shows how the house type actually comes. Yes. Uh, and if you do go for more of the standard options, this is what you get. So it's really nice to see that. As always, if you do book a viewing on any Bellway development, do let them know that you saw our video. If you've liked what you've seen, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Hit the bell so you get notified of any future videos, but it only works if you're subscribed, so please subscribe. Um, but otherwise, from us here at The Spinning in Shrewsbury, Mwah. to you all, and goodbye. goodbye.